Hey guys, welcome to my channel and to this video of our latest bins haul from the Goodwill outlet. Um, it is our latest. We just went on Sunday. Today is Friday. We are now going to the bins every Sunday. So um, yeah, I wanted to show you what we got. But before I show you what we got at this latest trip, I want to go ahead and show you what we got the very, very first time we ever went to the bins, and that was back in November. So yeah, the first time we ever went to the bins was back in November, so it's been about four months, and I've been wanting to show you guys these items <laughs> since then, but I have not made the time to make a YouTube video, but I will be making weekly what sold and haul videos now. I am committed, you know, 100%. So hold me to it. <laughs> but yeah, so I waited all this time. I do have some of those items listed and some of them have already sold and some of them are unlisted. Um, but yeah, it was our very first time at the bins. Um, after me being a reseller for three and a half years, I finally made it to the bins. So the reason why it took so long was honestly, I was just kind of nervous about it. I didn't want to go unless I was going with my husband and um, he was working full time, two jobs. So um, back in July, when he lost his job, um, he became a full time reseller with me. Ever since then, um, because it was an unexpected job loss and we weren't totally prepared for him to be reselling with me full time um we knew one of the main things we needed to do to be successful was to keep our cost of goods as low as possible and the best way to do that is to shop at the bins so from july he had been telling me like we have to go to the bins we have to go to the bins but i just kept procrastinating <laughs> So he finally convinced me to go and we went back in November. Okay, so we get there and we just kind of check the place out a little bit and just observe before we dive into anything. But it's nothing crazy, everyone's pretty chill. So we just start digging through bins. And at some point I'm going through a couple bins and my husband whispers to me, everyone is staring at you. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so I look up and I see everyone staring at me and they are not happy. And that's when we both realized that they were currently in the process of rolling out new bins and you're supposed to wait until all the bins are out and they give you permission to go, which I didn't know. So I just quickly <laughs> moved back and just waited. Uh, luckily, no one said anything to me, um, but that was pretty embarrassing. But yeah, after that, once they brought out all the new bins, we went ahead and dove in and we found a couple good things, nothing too crazy. I'll go ahead and show you guys um, what is not listed yet in a moment, but first I want to show you what has already sold. Um, now just keep in mind, like, this was our first time and we really didn't have a lot of time. I think we were only there for one, maybe two rotations. Um, we, I just wanted to go and get a feel for it. I was not planning to be there all day or anything like that. Um, we live within a half hour of two outlet bins. So, you know, I just wanted to go and get a feel for it. So we were there probably an hour and change or something like that. We had to get back to the kids. So. Anyway, I will go ahead and show you now what has already sold. Okay, so the first item that sold, well, I don't know if it's the first item, I'm not doing them in order, but the first item we're gonna talk about that sold are these Men's Columbia pants that sold for $12 plus $5.99 for shipping. The buyer did request to return them after he received them. He said they did not fit. However, um, he never sent them and I think buyers have up to 30 days to send the item back but he never sent them so eBay automatically closed the return just the other day okay so the next item that sold are these pink Victoria's Secret uh, sequin joggers now they actually sold on Mercari but for some reason I can't find them on Mercari um, I don't know if Mercari does like eBay where you can only see your items 
for a certain amount of time after they've completed and sold. But I know for sure they sold on Mercari. I have it on my spreadsheet. And I remember saying that they would sell on Mercari. And sure enough, they did sell on Mercari because I seem to sell all pink or Victoria's Secret items over there. Um, they ended up selling on Mercari for $23. So the next item that sold, I honestly, when I brought it home, I was like, why did I get this? I don't know. It's because it was at the bins and it was my first time and I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> um, but it actually just sold the other day, even though I listed it right away. It sold on Poshmark for $12 um, and the buyer paid for shipping. So um, yeah, that just sold the other day. Okay, so the next item that sold is this a New Day, which is a Target brand uh, purple cardigan. Um, this sold on Poshmark, sold for $13. And I forgot to mention, but my cost of goods at the first, um, our first trip to the bins was $1.97 for each item. Um, we did not know, we were not aware that you get a price break if you make it to 25 pounds or more. I think the price break is 25% off, but again, we didn't know that, um, and we weren't there really long to even be able to make the 25 pounds. Um, but yeah, so this sold for $13 and after my cost of goods and everything, my profit was $8.08. The next item that sold are these pants. The brand is Gypsy and Moondust. This is one of those things where I was there and I'm like, well, they're cute and, you know, they're super cheap and it's at the bins and I think they'll sell. I just have to price it accordingly. So I did. I priced it, I think, at 20 and I got an offer for $15 on Poshmark. Okay, this item actually sold on eBay and it sold fairly quickly. I listed it right away. Um, so I can no longer see it on eBay because it's been over 90 days. So I just pulled up my old um, Poshmark listing for it. So this robe is by the brand, what is the brand? Oh, Jones, New York. Um, and it was a size extra large. It sold on eBay for $24.99 plus $7 for shipping. After all fees, my profit was $14.45. This next item that sold also sold on eBay, and it was a right away, so it's been over the 90 days, so I'm just showing you the listing from Poshmark, so you can see the picture. Um, the brand on this was Express, and I didn't even think twice about bringing it home because I love the color, I love the cable knit, and I knew it would sell, so I... Did sell it on eBay for $25.50 plus $6 for shipping. Okay, so now that you've seen what has already sold, I'll show you now what I either still have listed or have not listed at all. Okay, so the first thing are these White House Black Market straight leg jeans distressed with a little sequence. Um, it has gotten some likes and some attention. It is a smaller size, a size two. So they are still listed and have not sold yet. Okay, the next thing I got, again, bear in mind, like this isn't something I would normally pick up, but I figured it was gonna be super cheap and we're going into summer. So I picked up this weatherproof I believe it is linen. That might be another reason why I got it. Yeah, it's 55% linen and 45% cotton. And this is it. I figured if it didn't sell, it's my husband's size and he liked it. So he can keep it if it doesn't sell. Okay, the next thing I got here is a Brooks Brothers men's button down. Nothing super special, but it was cheap. Okay, the next thing, I was actually pretty excited about this one. It was in really good condition, except it had a small, like, grease mark. But now it has a bunch of them. I washed it, and I guess I just made it worse. I don't know, but 
It's a Ralph Lauren, Lauren Ralph Lauren pullover. Really nice color, but it's totally damaged now. So I don't think I'm going to put any more time into that. I will probably re-donate it. Um, maybe someone else will want to deal with it. But yeah, um, kind of bummed about that one. Okay, this one I was pretty excited about. This is a pair of Miss Me jeans, and it looks like it's a larger size. This is not listed yet. I don't know why I haven't listed it yet, but it's not. Um, size 32. Um, I have done really well with Miss Me jeans. However, I did notice when I brought these home that they have a hole, a couple holes, but I still don't think I'll have a problem selling them. Um, because this brand has a good following and it's a really good size and all of the like embellishment and sequins back here these are all intact so and i've sold miss me jeans with missing um embellishments so i think it'll still do fine they're distressed so a couple holes shouldn't really be a big deal okay so then the very next thing I'm going to show you guys was the last thing we found when we were waiting to check out. I was so done at this point. I was so tired and ready to go home. But my husband was like checking out all of the hard good uh, bins. And I was like, come on, I really want to go. So I just decided to be patient, give him a little more time. And I decided to go ahead and poke around at the hard good bins that had already been picked over, like completely. They were ready to roll those out of there. And that's when I spotted this beautiful Dooney and Burke handbag. So I grab it and I'm excited. I see that it's a Dooney bag. It feels like really good quality I know it's real so I get really excited but then I show it to my husband and I'm like oh bummer it's damaged so I see all of this and I think to myself it's damaged and that's that must be why it's still there so I put it back in the bin I'm like all right let's check out he pulls it back out and he's like no I think it goes like that and I said no it's damaged so I put it back again and he pulls it back out and he's like let's do a google image search on it and sure enough he was right we looked it up and I think it's called the watercolor print or something like that um and he said he's like you know the reason why I don't think it's damaged is because what you think is a damage stops right here like it would still be on the brown part if it was damaged so that's exactly how it goes and I did list this one right away because I was really excited about it um let me show you the inside I think it was in really good condition he had to do minimal my husband does the cleaning on bags and shoes um he had to do minimal cleaning on this one um but yeah I did list it right away I listed it high at like 225 mainly because I kind of wanted to keep it and I'm not a bag girl at all like bags just aren't my thing but I just love this one so much so I priced it kind of high and um funny I listed it like back in November it is now March and it's gotten a lot of likes and attention but no offers yet until this morning <clears throat> I got an offer this morning for $75 on eBay and right before filming this video I countered at $100 so I'll let you know if they accept that or not but yeah we were super excited to find this this was probably the best find and after that I was pretty pumped I'm like all right I'm ready to go back to the bins <laughs> this is it's pretty awesome all right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and show you everything from our latest trip to the bins. Again, that was this past Sunday. We are going every Sunday now. Um, it's a pretty good crowd on Sunday mornings. So yeah, we're really liking going on Sundays and staying for a few hours. We try to get there as soon as they open at 8 a.m. and we're normally out of there by noon. So in this latest trip, we got a total of 52 items and i think we paid about 60 dollars the clothing items came to 96 cents and the 
shoes and belts came to $1.79. Hard goods came to 18 cents. You guys, hard goods came to 18 cents, which is absolutely crazy. Um, we also got a pair of coach gloves that for some reason ended up going in the hard goods bucket because I forgot to put it in with the clothing. So she told me to just put it with the hard goods. Um, so we paid 18 cents for those as well. So yeah, you guys, when I get home and I put this stuff on the spreadsheet and I see what we ended up paying for these items, I'm like totally blown away that I haven't been doing this this whole time. Like, don't get me wrong, the bins is not for everyone. It is quite a workout. <laughs> I normally have really sore arms for the next couple days after the bins, but you know what? It's totally worth it when I see the cost of goods. So yeah, let's go ahead and show you the items that we got. So the first item, um, actually my husband found in the hard goods area, and it's this Patricia Nash bag, like the saddle bag, crossbody, messenger, whatever um, you would call it. It is large and the condition, it's mostly good. It does have some spots. He has not tried to clean it yet. Um, it's still here on our pending to be prepped rack. Um, the inside is in is in good condition and here is the label but yeah it's a really nice large sized bag and i was excited to find it oh, i was excited he found it uh the next item that i found um is this vera bradley duffel bag i didn't bother to check comps i know vera bradley doesn't do that well um anymore it used to but i think the larger duffel bags still do really well and obviously with the cost of goods it was worth it to just bring it home um the next item i found was this vince sheer blouse with this draped like keyhole opening it's a small size there's the label it's a size four i'm not sure if it's silk i think it is let's see what the label says yeah it is a hundred percent silk i do okay with bins i mean it just depends i think i will probably get like 30 for this uh, we'll see. The next item I found was this Altered State cute little button-down dress, perfect for summer that's coming up. It's my size, so I can totally keep it or borrow it. Um, again, Altered State does okay for me. Could probably get like 20 to 25 for it. So the next item I got is this linen vest that I think will probably sell on eBay. I do well with this type of wearable art is what you would put in the title for something like this. Um, the brand had a decent sell through rate, but again, I think um, the keywords like wearable art or artsy um, will get this attention. So here's an item that, you know, I don't normally pick up or a brand that I don't normally pick up. Most resellers don't normally pick up and that is Old Navy, but I picked this up obviously because it was at the bins and it was super cheap. Also because it was in size extra large. Um, any pieces in Old Navy that I have had in a larger size has sold fairly quickly. Um, it still needs to be steamed, but it's a cute like off the shoulder top with this scalloped hem the scalloped embroidered hem that I think is super cute for summer. So again, for the price and the style is the reason why I picked up this brand. Okay, so this next item, ALF. When I looked it up, actually I'm seeing now it's got some spots or some fading, but when I looked it up, it turns out that this is 
or it looks like if I'm wrong please correct me um, this is a vintage cool brand so the brand cool spelled K U H L has done well for me in the past and I know that it's kind of a bobo brand for some people yeah I can't read much on this tag here because it is vintage it's pretty old I did find this exact one sold in the same sort of condition for like $35 so I don't know we'll see but it was super cheap and um like I said this brand has a good following so should be okay even if I just get like 20 for it 15 I mean I didn't pay much okay so this next brand is a target brand and that is Knox Rose it's in a size small um this brand does have a following and it's a really cute sweater with a cable knit stitch and a pretty crocheted like layered look to it and like I said, this brand has a bit of a following, so hopefully it'll sell for like 25 to 20 or 20 to 25 on Mercari. Um, I think that's where it could sell because I do well with those Target brands over on Mercari. So the next item I found, I was really excited about. It's just a beautiful, beautiful top by Free People with this long bell sleeve. And look how pretty the details on that is. I've looked for flaws and I found none. So when there, and it's also a size large. There's the tag. Most of us know what that tag looks like, but there it is. Um, but yeah, I was really excited to find it in a size large. I think it's absolutely stunning. I'm going to list it probably around $38. The next item is a very basic bread and butter type of brand. Uh, probably get like $15 for it, but I picked it up because of the color. I'm pretty obsessed with like this color that I'm wearing, like or mustards and yellows and this pretty orange. Um, I think it's just cotton. The brand is Jane and Delancey and it's a size 2X. So again, even though it's not like a great brand, I picked it up based on the color and the size and of course the price. So the next item I found was this Madewell, even though the tag is falling out. It is Madewell. Uh, there's no size tag, but it's like an extra small. Um, it is cashmere. I can't remember if it's 100%. No, it's not cashmere. Sorry. It is 100% merino wool. And it does have a little bit of pilling, um, but I will go ahead and take care of that. But it's a cute basic cardigan I will probably list that because of the size and the condition with the pilling but I think I get the pilling out I will probably list it around 35 okay the next item I got is a Ralph Lauren size medium cable knit bright bold pink colored pullover sweater Again, the price just couldn't leave it behind. And I will probably list this at around, I don't know, 28. We'll see. The next item I found is this absolutely beautiful top or dress. Let's see. I think it's a tunic top. And it's by the brand. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's spelled l oh l i t h e lith or leith it's by anthropology this is a size six after i did some research i learned that it is missing the inside like cami that it comes with but who doesn't already own a black cami that they can wear underneath it or you can wear like a black slip and wear it like a flapper dress. I just think it's so, so pretty with this embroidery. 
and there are no flaws to it, again, other than missing the inside cami that it came with. Okay, so the last item I'm going to show you is the item I was the most excited for, and I do believe that this item could pay for the entire haul. So again, I paid about $60 for the haul. If I could sell these pants for $75, then that could pay for the whole haul. Uh, this is a brand I have never heard of. The brand is Nilly Lotin. I b believe that's how you pronounce it. You guys have probably heard of it, um, <laughs> but it was a new to me brand. It's a size two and it's these like joggers with this zippered elastic hem. And honestly, as soon as I pick them up, here's the back. I just don't need to steam them. So this is all crazy, but um, the condition is literally perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. And as soon as I picked them up, I just could feel the quality. I knew it was something, so I decided to look it up. And honestly, when you've been doing this for a while, you just kind of get a feel for what could be something just based on the tag. And I do find that often these like type of tags with this plain font tends to be something. So I was right, the comps on these pants um, were really good, like anywhere from 50 to $250. So there is a style name. Let me go ahead and find what that is on here. There's a style name on the tag, so I should be able to get better comps when I look it up. It's the cropped military pant, and it's got a style number and everything. So I will look that up, but yeah, guys, if this can sell for $75, that would pay for the entire haul. And I'm just showing you guys like a few of the pieces. Like I said, we ended up getting 52 items, 52 items. So if this one item pays for everything, I still have like 50 items left to sell, which would be pure profit. And that's amazing. Okay, so that's everything as far as clothing that I'm gonna show for this haul. Next, we're gonna show you some shoes that we got. Um, but first we're gonna start with this Tory Burch single shoe that I brought home because I am now that reseller who couldn't leave and leave it behind. <laughs> so even though we searched everywhere for the other one, we couldn't find it. So I just brought it home because I thought, you know, I will probably regret if I don't. And now I kind of regret bringing it home because I'm not really sure what to do with it. I was just going to go ahead and list it as a single shoe because things happen, right? Like pet owners might have a dog who chewed up your right shoe and here I have the left one. <laughs> um, there are also amputees. Like it's, there is a market for single shoes, but upon checking the sell through rate on eBay, um, it's not very high for single shoes. And after I got home, I posted on Instagram about bringing this single shoe home and my friend Mariana, I will tag her Instagram here. She made a post. She had just had an experience selling a single shoe and she posted about it and it wasn't good. So go ahead and check out her Instagram so you can read about her experience. But basically buyers weren't reading and they were surprised that it was a single shoe. Um, so I don't really want to go through that. So I will decide what I'm going to do with it. I'm actually hoping that we will find the other one this Sunday when we go. <laughs> I'm being very optimistic. I know that is unlikely, but you never know. So wish us luck. <laughs> okay, you guys. So here are the shoes we got. Again, the shoes and belts came to about $1.79 each. And here are some of the ones that we got. We got these Steve Madden little booties. They do need a little bit of a cleanup, but they're in decent shape otherwise. Um, we also got these J. Crew ballet flats, also in pretty good condition. They just need a little cleaning. These Crocs here, we have sold the exact ones before. 
they just need to be cleaned. These boots here, um, I checked the sell-through rate and they're, the sell-through rate on them um, was about 20%, but when they do sell, they sell from for like 50 to $60. So I will just go ahead and mark them a little lower, about $40. Um, here's the brand i don't know if that's the brand or just the style um irish setter but yeah i looked it up there's a like a specific style number on the inside um my husband will do minimal cleaning on them just because when someone is looking for work boots like this they're mostly looking for like the quality of the type of boot like they're not looking for them to be cute or whatever <laughs> So yeah, we will list those at about $40. Um, then we found these Tory Burch flip-flops. We actually had two Tory Burch flip-flops, but they were totally different. So we grabbed both of them. And at the end, my husband said, I think I see a woman with the others. <laughs> so he walked up to her with the two he had and he said, hey, you want one? You give me one, I give you one. And we both end up with a pair. So she was su super happy and we were super happy. Okay, and then we got these Merrill sandals. Need a little bit of a cleaning, but Merrill does pretty well for us. So I'll probably list them at about 30 because of the condition, uh, maybe 35 and we'll see what we get for them. Um, this next pair of sandals, the brand is Mep Mephisto. Um, I've sold the brand before. It does need to be cleaned, that's for sure. But I did find the sell-through rate on eBay for these was about 65%. And even in this condition, the sold prices I found were about $40. So for $1.79 to be able to sell them for $40 is great. Um, we got a couple of belts here, nothing special. Um, again, they were about $1.79. Um, and then we got these coach gloves. Um, where's the label? Yeah, there it is. I believe they're vintage. I'm not sure, but the sell-through on the gloves was pretty good. I was actually surprised. Um, but yeah, uh, we paid... $1.79 for these? No, these actually, the gloves were 18 cents because they went in with hard goods. So yeah, that's everything we got as far as shoes. Sorry, I just realized I completely skipped over these um, cute little wedges. They are Franco Sarto. They are leather. They're in really, really good shape and they are my size. So I might just be keeping these for me after I clean them up um, because I don't have anything in this color. So anyway, that is all for shoes. I think we did okay. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the shoes that we got at the regular Goodwill right after we went to the bins because they were having an early bird 50% uh, off sale. Um, the sale was from 9 a.m. until noon by the time we were done at the bins, we didn't get there till 11.30, so I had 30 minutes to <laughs> to go ahead and pick some stuff. So with only 30 minutes, I decided I would check out the shoes only. That's all I had time for, and they seemed to be putting out a bunch of shoes. So I said, I think that's where I want to be. I did not realize it um, until I got home, but they are, they are all really small-sized shoes <laughs> that I brought home. Um, but I think they will still do well. So the first pair we got are these Crocs. They are a size five, but you guys, we cannot keep Crocs in stock. I mean, I've sold them even on eBay. A couple pairs of Crocs have gone overseas, so I don't know what that's about, if they're popular elsewhere, but um, they're these super cute, like bedazzled sandals. Um, they're a small size, but again, it was 50% off. I think these came to like $1.50 or something like that. Um, the next pair are these Cole Haan wedges in a really pretty color. Again, a very small size. Oh, it's a collab with Nike. You can see at the bottom, it is a size 
five and a half, but they are in really good condition. Um, this next pair, uh, I don't know how to pronounce the brand, but here it is. Minnetonka, I believe. But it's a super cute, I put it on my little foot forms here so you could see what they look like on. These are 100% my size, so I may just keep these for myself. Um, the next pair we found are these Ugg sandals. Condition is pretty good. Um, these are a small size. I think they were size five and a half. No, they were six. They were size six, and I'm between a six and a six and a half, so I did try them on to see if <laughs> I would also keep these. Um, but they're kind of small on me, so we will definitely be listing these. Okay, the next pair we got are these Vince Camuto gold heels, and they are in really, really, really good condition. Super cute. So I think we paid a total, I'm not sure, but I'll pop it up on the screen here. I know we didn't pay much for all of these. We ended up getting one, two, three, four, five pairs of shoes um in a half hour so that was pretty good all right you guys that is all for this video thank you so much for watching my little haul video let me know what you think about the items i got let me know what you think i should do about that single shoe <laughs> like i said i'm probably just gonna hope for the best and hope that i find the second one but if not what would you do would you list it just redonate it I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep it as a decor item in my office. This is a cute shoe. Um, anyway, if you guys are interested in more videos from me, please consider subscribing because I will be uploading at least one what sold video per week and one haul video per week. So if that interests you, go ahead and subscribe and I will see you at the next one. Bye.